Hey guys, uh, as you guys saw from the title of the video, College Tennis. And yes, I am going to be play, playing College Tennis. I, uh, I'm going to be playing at a D3 school, and it is Gettysburg. I'm really, really excited that I'm, that I'm going to be playing College Tennis and pursuing my uh, tennis and academic career at Gettysburg. It was, um, it was a very difficult, very difficult choice uh, as, I, as I was getting recruited by, by a few other schools. And um, I was, I'm really, really happy that I made this, that I made this decision. And uh, it was definitely not easy picking between, picking between some great schools and having some great opportunities to, uh, to really, to visit all of them. And I went on official visits to a few and um, yeah, it definitely wasn't easy, but, but I'm happy, happy that I'm going to be playing tennis in college. And for, for you guys asking, I'm going to try to, going to try to continue the channel throughout college and um yeah i was uh i want this video to be a, be a little shorter and uh not me kind of just talking and just letting you guys know where i'm at so throughout the summer i know i didn't post uh didn't post a whole lot as um as they didn't let me really record my matches inside uh inside some of the tournaments that i was playing in the facilities um, but I tried to get a couple that were outside, um, and yeah, I uh, I trained a lot over the summer. Played a lot of played a lot of tennis. Also um, worked a fair amount. Uh, obviously, you gotta gotta have money to go to college, and um, yeah, I was I was happy over the summer. Really, really working on getting better, and because my goal was um, was to try to get recruited and try to play college tennis, and um, yeah, I came to came to the decision that I was choosing Gettysburg. Um, about a week ago, uh, yeah, and it wasn't it wasn't easy, but got it done. Yeah, I'm trying to kind of transitioning into kind of how the channel started. I kind of wanted to bring up a few topics on that because because uh, a few years ago when I when I had the channel, um, it was all just uh, all just kind of video game gameplay, and then um, and then I was working with uh, with NSR, which is a great recruiting process, uh, recruiting recruiting page kind of and um and they said you kind of need some video for to 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 sense to sense some college coaches and so I started started kind of recording my matches as soon as the high school season started and I started I started I thought I thought it was going to it was very very nerve-wracking kind of kind of getting that up the first time can I record can I can I set can I set up my little my little video camera and put it up on the fence and um and then from there, it kind of just took off. So I started started editing on uh, on iMovie, and that's still how I do my editing. I'm gonna try to change that. Maybe something on DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere. I don't know something. But um, but yeah, it was it was all kind of done on on iMovie and my cell phone. So that's kind of how this channel started. It was a uh, it's very interesting, and I thought it was I thought it'd just be a fun little thing where. Maybe get maybe get a hundred views, maybe get fifty, uh, but kind of took off, and a couple a couple a couple of the um, the videos got twenty five k, fifty k, fifteen fifteen k views. It was it was really really cool to see the comments come in, the views come in, the subscribers, because I think I started with about ten subscribers, and it was just really really cool to see the channel grow throughout my uh, throughout my uh, high school throughout the high school season. And it was just so much fun seeing all the comments, uh, some, some negative, some positive, and they were all kind of really helpful the, uh, just to see how, just to see how other, other players saw my game and coaches and friends. And yeah, it was just, I, I even, even got a couple of coaches that reached out, uh, reached out through, through email from, from seeing my videos all, all across the country. And that was really, really rewarding. Uh, as, as I thought this was just going to be a little fun thing for me and it really kind of turned into uh, turned into a little tennis community here. Uh, for my next couple of videos, I'm going to try going to try to record inside as I got a uh, new new recording set up for, for inside matches because it's definitely a lot harder to record indoors than outdoors. And uh, I'll show you guys how I record uh, both my matches now indoors and outdoors and try to get the best angle and everything. So talking a little more about recording, uh, I would always go up to the player and ask him if it was it was okay, and uh, and I, I always ask them and the coach just to make sure everything was all right. And if they 
if they weren't okay with that, I wouldn't record it. But if they did, I uh, was more than happy to more than happy to pull out this little thing. Got to put it in a little Ziploc bag. Uh, I'll show you, I'll show you guys a little setup here. So I would um, I would take out a little selfie stick, take out a selfie stick, extend it all the way. Uh, as you guys can see here, I would kind of just pull it up a little, put my phone in it, and then get up as high as I could on the fence. And then I had two little pieces of string here. I would attach I would attach it to here, one on the top and one on the bottom. I'll link a video of uh, of the video I found on Google when I first wanted to first wanted to start this. And um, this little cheap setup that I got got it for got this little selfie stick here uh, for Amazon on Amazon for about like five dollars. And that's kind of how everything started. And um, I was gonna ask you guys, what, what 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 videos do you guys kind of want to see coming up next? Because um, because I feel like I feel like I'm not playing a whole lot of matches. I mean, I'm tr I'm trying to get out in the tournament scene as much as possible, but obviously uh, some of, some of the some of the tournament directors and some of the places don't don't allow you to record, which is perfectly fine. But um, but yeah, I'm I'm signing up for another tournament uh, the week um, the weekend of Halloween. And, um, and yeah, what other videos would you guys want, kind of want to see, like, like a training session or, or whatever, whatever you let, let, let me, let me, got, let me, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, a couple of you guys were asking about, uh, about my gear and, uh, what I kind of use for rackets, strings and everything. So, um, so this was my old racket. It was my, it was the, uh, the RF 97 light version. And uh, happy retirement to Roger, by the way. And uh, yeah, I used this racket for a while, and then um, I kind of just found it became a little dead on me. And um, and uh, yeah, because it was only uh, it was only ten point two ounces. And then and then the strings I used, I used. Um, if you, I'm gonna try to bring them closer. It was the uh, Wilson uh, Wilson Revolve Wilson Revolve fifteen gauge polyester, and I used that all throughout. The mains and the crosses, and I also had uh, had these string savers. I'll pop an image on screen, and uh, yeah, these little string savers are the little little squares that I had in my racket, and they uh, they they uh, make you lose a little bit of feel, but they make your strings last a little longer. So so I kind of kind of took the took that benefit with adding a con of um, losing a little feel, but uh, but as but more recently now my new racket. I use the use the V seven blade, the Wilson V seven blade, and I'm uh, I'm really happy with this racket as I think it helps with my one hander, my forehand, big serve volleys, everything, and I kind of think it um, accommodates an all court game, and uh, and for strings I use Hyper G with Slinko Hyper G strings and uh, bringing up Slinko. That's that's this little circle here. I got a, I got a small little sponsorship from them. And uh, yeah, even even though even though I'm not the best best player, but I uh, I, I love to support Solinko and um, and everything they have because I do use their strings and I think they're a great company. Um, but I do use I do use the Wilson Wilson uh, white overgrips and I think these are these just work well for me because even though they go kind of quick, they're very very sticky while they last. And uh, yeah, overall I um I like this racket. And I like everything that everything it kind of does for me. Also, for uh, for tension, I like to I like to string my rackets uh, pretty tight because that um, that allows for your racket to to last a little longer and your strings to last a little longer. So I tend to string string my racket around 57, 58, uh, whatever I'm kind of feeling. And then um, obviously, as uh, as you play a little more, the tension gets a little looser. So uh, so yeah, I I string it pretty high. I know. Some of the pros, even even some uh, some advanced juniors, they use they use really really low tension. But um, but yeah, th even though even though fifty seven fifty eight is not something I love love, it, la it makes my strings last longer. And um, yeah, I thank you guys for watching and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.